few days ago, City announced that it was revamping a program that helps broaden access to home ownership opportunities for diverse communities. And really, it's a larger initiative to expand the reach that City wants to have for its lending products. And I'm going to talk about that specifically a little bit later. Now, this comes on the heels of Bank of America's venture to pretty much do the exact same thing by serving those who want to purchase homes in black and brown communities. The city home run program offers down payments as low as 3% with no mortgage insurance, which is huge. It also can be paired with a lender paid assistance program in the form of a grant. And currently, I believe the grant max is $5,000. However, it's supposed to be going up to 7,500, and that's really to help offset closing costs, which is a huge hurdle for a lot of buyers right now. And the intention of the program is to focus on financial inclusion and racial equity. Now, why is this important? Well, the wealth gap has increased substantially over the last umpteenth, <laughs> umpteenth years. I can't even think back that far. And a big portion of this comes from home ownership. Now, Home ownership helps to pretty much increase a person's net worth because that's a big ticket asset. So when we look at what happened over the past couple of years from 2020 to up to now, the home ownership rate in the U.S. has gone up to about 63 percent, somewhere around. That. I think that's the number. And for black Americans, the home ownership rate is currently sitting at 43 percent. It's slightly better than it was in 1970 at 42 percent. In other words, there hasn't been a lot of progress that has been made for black home ownership. Incidentally, when you look at the home ownership rate amongst whites, Asians, and Hispanics, we're talking 72%, 62%, and 51% respectively. But blacks and Hispanics continue to face home ownership obstacles, especially as it relates to student loan debt, which is crippling a lot of people from being able to accomplish the goals of home ownership. Now, to go deeper on this, I encourage you to read the book, The Color of Law by Richard Rothstein. In it, he exposes how American government pretty much kind of instituted racial segregation and did this nationwide. We're talking about redlining, we're talking about steering, we're talking about blockbusting. I won't get into what those terms are. You can Google that. But if you really want to get an in-depth look at what happened, read the book, The Color of Law. Now, this program is available to low to moderate income borrowers. We're talking people who have a median family income of less than 80%. However, I think that is going to increase to just below 120%, which will give access to a lot more people. Again, expanding the reach of its lending products. And this program is available to first time home buyers. And that includes people who have previously purchased a home. How far back it goes, I don't know. You'd have to contact City. It's also available to people if you want to purchase a single family home, I believe multifamily, condo, or a co-op. And similar to B of A's program, they're going to use kind of different guidelines to assess credit worthiness. So if there's no credit score, they'll look at things like rent payments and utility payments to base their decision. Currently, the program is only available in San Fran, LA, New York, Miami, DC, and Chicago. However, it will be expanding to cities like Atlanta, Austin, Denver, Dallas, Houston, Philadelphia, and Cambridge, Massachusetts. Over the past couple of months, we've seen lenders either pull back from the business, get out of the business altogether, or go through layoffs as cost-cutting strategies. And I did a video on B of A's program, and toward the end of the video, this is what I had to say. So I wouldn't be surprised if you saw other banks or lenders come with very similar types of products and try, try to unroll those to keep businesses afloat. And so now here we are. And it's gonna be an interesting time to see how this all unfolds and what's going to happen. But I'm really interested to know what you think is going to happen, especially as we're talking about the Fed and tightening things up and dealing with inflation. These programs, as good as they are, could put some more downward pressure on an already injured and crippling housing market. But again, leave your comments below and let me know what it is that you think.